You're listening to the Wake Up Wealthy Podcast, the only podcast that helps you turn pro in mind, body, spirit, and business. I like the way Ty puts this down one day. He said, just categorize people into 33, 33, 33. So he said, 33% of the people are in your life. Hang out with people that are more successful than you. And um, so those people you're seeking advice from and blah, blah, blah. 33% of people, you categorize them. 33% of people are on the people that are on your level. 33% of people are the people below you. And that's the way I literally categorize my life. I'm always like that. I'm like, who is here, who is here, and who is here? And how do I increase that top component of that top 33%? But yeah, that's it. That's interesting. You know, you've been talking about this categorization of individuals. And, you know, it has me thinking about really how I choose choose my circle around me and dude, I'm so fucking picky. Like it's, it's, it's brutal because I mean like, and I'm not at the point now with the networks that we have and the people that we've met, like I'm not impressed. I'm never impressed by like how much money you've made or like what you're going on. If you're rolling up acting like, like, you know, like if you vibe at like good dude, who's also hung, like to be around me, you got to be a good dude. You got to be honest as fuck. You got to all be ambitious as fuck, right? Super real. No, don't act like someone you're not in front of a certain type of, like, it's hard to find the kind of person I want to be around, right? Yep. But there's Agreed. so many people trying to do this thing now that, I mean, I either just categorize people in or out. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, interesting. But the, the heart, here's the hard case is because Here's the way I see it. As you grow older, because when you're young, you're, you're, not, you're not really categorizing people. You're like, oh, bro, we, you know, we, we drank at the bar together and now you're my friend and you're not really having like deep level conversations or anything like this. So like everybody's your friend and then you start filtering them out. The problem is, is you have guys that are like your day ones that you still have like the funny jokes with, but they're not going to understand your business. So I don't like completely cut them out because they're not like in my business, like supporting me to the fullest but I just know where they stand in the time and energy and focus that I'm actually giving them. Like I'm not talking to them every single day. Like I used to be. Yeah. That's you know a good, I mean? that's I'm a good point. Back to my home city. And maybe we're going to go grab some dinner once every couple months and just catch up like, yo, how's work? How's my work? I'm not completely cutting them off. Like you're out of sort of my friend circle. And I'm sure you do the exact same thing. It's she, you just give them, you don't give them as much time and energy. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I mean, like, I do like I have boys from college and shit, buddies from high school. Like I got married this year; they were at my wedding, you know. And like we we chop it up, shoot the shit. But they're like they're finance guys and have random shitty jobs or whatever. Like we don't talk about anything like that. But you know, yeah. we we talk maybe twice a year. Like to me, that's basically out, right? Like if you want to call me and have like more than once every six months and have me answer, like you got to be like you got to fit those criteria. I said, I think. You know, but, or like, and it doesn't matter to me if you're in like chapter one or chapter 15, right? Like if I think you've got it and like, you're the kind of person I want to be around, like, I'll, I don't care where you're at. I'll help you develop that. Right. Because you're the kind of person I fuck with. Right, right, right. 